everybody, this is going to be a tutorial slash demo of the new multiplayer trap system for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Hop right into it, we have the spike trap. Uh, you can set it to where it automatically comes up and down at different intervals, like the one on the right. Or you can have your default one where you have to step on the pusher plate for the spikes to come up. Then we'll move on to the moving spinning log trap. It moves back and forth, if you touch it, it damages you. And this is a, another version here, with just different spikes. And this is a moving spinning blade trap, same concept. Moves back and forth, has blades. Uh, they move, the movement location back and forth is replicated, but the actual spinning is not, because there's no need to replicate the fast spinning object like that. It would just eat up bandwidth. Um, let's see, the fire trap is next. You can see it spins around and around, shoots a flamethrower. And its replication actually works for rotation. The rotation is replicated because it spins slow and you may want to have to you know, go in between the fire at the right times and you want that to be replicated. So that works there. Next you have a swinging base trap. It swings back and forth. You know the deal. Don't get hit by it. Try to go at the right time. The rotation is replicated as well. Here's a swinging hammer trap, swinging axe trap, and here's a saw blade trap. It's just a spinning saw blade, goes back and forth. So, now that we got that, let's hop right into it and uh, I'll show it to you in two player. So you can see that it works for multiplayer, server, client, client can come over here. He steps on the uh, trap. He gets killed. And he respawns in. And I also made it where when you stand on the trap, see I got my foot barely on it, the spikes will stay up until someone leaves. And then it waits two seconds and goes back down. Uh, the next over here, same thing. Trap, if you touch it, you get hurt. Same with the server, you get damaged on everything as well. Uh, same with that. Same with the spinning blade trap. Uh, we have the saw blade over here. Touch it, get killed. The axe trap, you can dodge. But if you get hit by it, you get killed. Same with client. You can see I'll get them side by side and you can see the. Uh, that's replicated. Same with the hammer and all that. And then last but not least is the flamethrower trap. You come over here, you can see that its uh, rotation is synced. So that way you can dodge, go in between the fire, not get hurt. And let's hop into the actual viewport here and I will show you what you can change. So like the spike trap, you can click it and it has default settings here. So you can scale the end location of the blades. You can see these blue blades are the is where the blades will be and underneath is where the blades actually are. So by now I have it set to zero but if you wanted the blades to go somewhere crazy you can increase it to like 25 and the blades will come up out of the ground that high. And I'll put that in there and hop in the game just to show you. So you can see the blades go all the way up to there. So it's just an easy way to let you customize your traps from the actual details panel. Uh, you can adjust the move time, which is how fast they move, the uh, ease in and out, the how long the spikes are actually active. So right now it's two seconds. They come up, wait two seconds, go back down. You can set the sounds. You can check the box. Do you want them to start automatically like this one? Or you can uncheck it, leave it unchecked, and it has to be stepped on by the player. Um, you have the damage amount, the interval of dam damage interval, like how uh, how long it takes before you get damaged. Right now every point one seconds you take 35 damage. Um, you can make them start with a delay so that way if you place like 10 of them on your floor you can make them all pop up and down at different intervals. And this show warning text here you can turn that off if you want. I just have it turned on because I didn't want 
as you can see it says don't touch use variables and details panel to move the endpoint I don't want people coming in here and accidentally just clicking the blue part the blue endpoint and moving it here you just click the trap and you move it with the actual values in the details panel and it's that way for all of them so you can say right here the little warning but you could turn it off uh, it's pretty much the same with all of these you have an end location that you can just move wherever you want the blade to move to is where it moves to and you have the move time the spin speed of the blade do you want it to ease in and out sound so you know the drill same thing with the the swinging traps swing rotation move it wherever you want it to swing to the sounds ease in and out swing speed damage all that um, these are actually the the swinging traps are the all they all default to a axe in the actual blueprint here which is a swinging axe trap if I open it up I'll show you and all you have to do is if you want to change it you can just click in here and then in the components up here you can just change the trap mesh to whatever you want I changed it to a hammer and you have the swinging hammer if your mesh is rotated wrong you just uh, like say maybe it's I don't know rotated sideways you would just come in here and tweak it till it's swinging the right way and there you go uh, same with the ma the mace I just changed the trap mesh to the mace and voila um, the spinning blade trap same thing moves back and forth uh, it has the detail settings here you can change the end location the move time spin speed all that uh, let me go ahead and open up one of these traps like this and I will show you when you're set if you're setting up your own trap you have the ability to set whatever you want to damage players so like in this case I made a damage trigger which is just like a cylinder that has a translucent material on it and I just made the collision overlap everything and what you do is inside of the event graph on begin play there's a setup damage triggers with a make an array and you plug in whatever you want to damage players so in this case I just took the damage trigger which is this red cylinder here and I just plugged it into the array so that's the only thing that causes damage is this uh, cylinder and then say like when the swinging axe trap you have the axe here which is the trap mesh but in the event graph I just plugged in the trap mesh so this axe is what hurts you but if you wanted multiple things say you added a lot of stuff you would just add a pin here and you can drag any kind of component that you want to damage players onto that pin that easy you do that with uh, any blueprint that you're working on creating tweaking editing whatever uh, same let's open up the flamethrower and I'll show you it so as you can see the flamethrower here I have the damage triggers two of them and I just plug them in right here on the I have the actual trap mesh which is the thing in the center here and then I have the two damage triggers and that's what deals the damage if you overlap with it so all in all it's a uh, pretty easy to use pretty easy to customize you can just swap out these meshes with any of your own meshes you can customize as much as you want if you like any of these and you want to make like more you can like take this whatever you want say the spike trap you can duplicate it and add to it as a separate standalone blueprint or you can edit the existing one they're all children of the parent uh, trap here there's a blueprint called parent trap and it just has a few, uh, well, it has a lot of stuff set up in here to set the end meshes, the end transforms. Uh, it controls the damage and everything. So if you're wanting to build one from scratch, then you would want to make a child of the parent trap by clicking create child blueprint class. And it would, you would keep all the functionality of the parent. It's helpful for sounds, damage, endpoints, all that. So all in all, 
that is the multiplayer trap pack. I hope you like it. And if you need any help, feel free to join my Discord, Discord for support. And thanks for watching.